Okay, so today I'm going to talk about five myths of self-confidence. And the first one is either you have it or you don't. And this is a myth because you don't necessarily have to be extremely talented to be successful. That's head trash. So if you, you're not, no one is naturally born with self-confidence. Everyone develops it over time. Now, of course, some people are better at it than others, but it doesn't make you worse or inferior. So keep in mind that if you think this way, if you think that you're not born with self-confidence, or you'll probably never have it, that is usually called the self-fulfilling prophecy. You think these negative thoughts and eventually they will manifest into your existence or reality. So make sure you don't ever think that you either got it or you don't. The second one is fake it till you make it. And this could become problematic over time, especially if you're not yourself. So don't don't have this imposter syndrome where you pretend to be someone you're not because that will catch up with you and people will start to catch on with it. So make sure you don't fall for this. This is very important, don't fall for the fake it till you make it because people will see right through that. And the third thing is confidence comes naturally. To talented people. So like number one, this is very, this is a very negative thing to think because it makes you feel inferior about yourself. So keep in mind that anyone can have low self-confidence or high self-confidence. No one is born naturally with it. We all work through it. So don't think that confidence comes naturally to talented people. There are many talented people out there who have anxiety, social anxiety, or speaking in front of people. They have afraid, they're afraid to speak in front of people. So keep that in mind. They're not perfect. And the fourth thing is social anxiety. And self-confidence. Just because you have, just because you're very nervous in public doesn't mean you'll ever, you won't ever become a self-confident person. Self-confidence, it takes a lot of practice. The more you do it, the better you will get. So don't use your personality or your situation like social anxiety as an excuse to not have the confidence you need. That's head trash. So get that out of your mind. And there are plenty of things, plenty of things on the internet that you can find that will help boost your self-confidence. And the last one is the looks, intelligence, is related to self-confidence. Yes and no, but you can't let, you know, your smarts or your looks get the best of you. Sometimes it can work in opposite ways because people can see right through it. They won't see what kind of person you are if you're pretending to be smart or pretending to look beautiful for self-confidence because it all boils down with how you view yourself in the inside. The beauty, the smarts, it won't make it better. So make sure you don't, make sure, the bottom line is make sure you be yourself. In this in this myth, 
Make sure you be yourself. Don't, don't let the smarts, don't let the looks get the best of you. So I hope you found this very useful. If you have any questions or concerns, please respond below. And otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.